This is a quick video tutorial of how to use the data manager function on the PLC 300 and associated with the PLT 300, which is a robotic total station through Hilti. Um, when you get your tablet and you want to load a file and start editing that file before you lay out or do any other work with it, you simply go to data manager and notice that when you're in data manager, you have the option to select the job you want. If you don't have a job, you can either go up here and import it. You can import a project directly from by using the... Uh, you can import a whole project by importing a HPL file through our point layout software. If you're using AutoCAD or another uh, sort of uh, software, you can actually just go ahead and uh, create a new project by just typing in the name of the project and then later importing the points uh, via CSV. I already have a project here that, I've op that I have. I'm going to go to Demo Mat, and you'll notice that before I open it, I'm already told how many control points I have imported. If I don't, if I don't have those imported, I can just simply go ahead and import them myself. So I can, I can import them by using a USB. I can also add a point manually if I know the exact X and Y coordinates. But most people, what they do is they just import it via USB from their um, whatever CSV file they have. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Demo Mat, my default job, and it goes ahead and pulls up my job. Now it shows me all my layout points, my and my control points. If I zoom in, it's nice. It's just a simple Android tablet. I see my control points are triangles, my layout points are circles. If I had my measured points in here, they'd be squares, and I have a couple of them already in here. My measured points, you measure those when you're out in the field. But let's say I need to edit some of these points. On the top, I have sketch, draw, points, and Kogo. Right now I'm going to stay in the Points tab, I'm going to edit, I'm going to start selecting these points that I want to edit, okay? Like for instance, if I don't need that, the, uh, that measuring point, I just simply say Delete, and it deletes it for me. If I have any other ones on here that I don't need, I can just simply edit, and I confirm that, okay, it's measuring point 3 that I'm going to delete, I'm going to go ahead and edit that and delete it. So I have a couple there, and now I just want to see my layout points. Let's say that I created a point that's on my tablet, and I need to quickly and I need to quickly make it a control point. I simply click the point, I edit it, and I can right here on the top right convert it to a control point. I can say move, which means basically it's going to completely remove the point and make it a triangle. Or I can say copy; it'll keep the layout point and also put a control point right on top of it. Um, in many cases I just say move, but I can understand why some people might want to keep the layout point there as well in case they need to go back and check it via the layout point function. Because remember, when you're laying out on your tool, when you're in layout, the only points you see are your layout points, you don't see your control points. So I can t totally understand why somebody would want to keep a uh, layout point underneath their control point just to check it later. All right, I'm going to edit a little bit more here. I'm going to remove this measured point because uh, some of these I don't really know why they're there. I might have used them in the demonstration. I'm going to go ahead and delete this measured point. Let's see if there's any other junk I can just get rid of on here. I'm not sure what these names are. Looks like that's from the file. Okay, so now I have a little bit cleaner of a file. I have my points on there. Let's say I need to add a point. Okay, people use this all the time. You need to add a point to your drawing because that's what your controls are. You need to specify where that is. It's pretty simple. Down here on the bar, you see all the different options of how to add points. This is simply... The way to read this, by the way, is if you see... If you see the red, that's what you need to... That The, the red indicates what you're trying to get. So if I see red, that means I'm trying to get a specific point at that specific spot. So for this application here, it says, okay, I'm going to select a line... I'll select a random line, and it's going to create for me a point at the end of that line. Okay, so I could save that over here with the check mark, and notice I now have two new points sitting there, one at the top and one at the bottom. So let me go ahead and edit these points, because it looks like I'm cluttering it up a little bit, just so I can see things better. Okay, but it's super convenient and a nice way to just kind of to create quick points. <clears throat> Another easy function is a circle. If you have an object in the in here that's a circle, you can tap the circle, 
Notice if I here I have a circle here, I tap this, I already have a point in there, it's gonna tell me my duplicate points, but if I didn't, it would create a point right there for me in the middle of my circle. Really good for plumbers. This gives me a, uh, a midpoint in the middle of a line. Okay. This gives me a point at the middle of, middle of, two, of an intersection of lines, right at the top. This will create an offset of points, so if I select a line here, I tell it the offset I wanted to create points for me, and it'll give me an offset right at the, uh, as, as if it was created, you know, it will give me the offset of the two endpoints of that line. Pretty convenient as well. I did it over here, let's say I went negative three. Negative three offset, we'll just put it the other way. Notice I have two points on the opposite side. Okay, uh, if I select, if I hard tap this and I hold, it brings up other options. I can also create a point out of the middle of a, uh, a perpendicular intersection. So if there's two lines that come together at that, in, in that angle, you could easily put uh, a point there as well. Uh, and if I hard press this one, this is a segment. So with, let's say I want to do a segment on a line. I tap the line I want to do a segment. Uh, let's say I want through two segments, I say enter. And it's going to get go ahead and create two segments of the line I create of, of the line I tapped. Let me undo that one. Let me create a segment on this line. Oops, not that one. There we go. Two segments on that one. I can undo that and do it again. Let's do maybe five segments. There we go. It creates five equal segments from the end of line to end of line for me to use. I also have this option, which basically would do the same exact thing, but it'll do it at an offset. So I'll tap that real quick just to show you. I'll tap the line. It tells me to enter my segments. I'll say five segments, and I want it to be offset by two feet. Say enter, and there you go. Okay, I'll undo that. So that's a really nice way to create points in your existing drawing. So let's say you come to your drawing, and you want to actually, instead of creating points per se, you want to start adding lines, uh, create other lines on your drawing or points. I mean, not points, but just other lines, or uh, you want to draw on your on here, you want to extend lines, things like that. So notice here you have these options. You select, again, red stands for what you are trying to get, and black stands for what you have to help you get there. So for instance, if I want to create a line from, let's say I need to create a line from here to here. I just select that function, I tap, and if I say enter, it'll automatically create a line to those two points. Let me edit. I'll tap that line and I'll delete it. Yep, delete that line. Uh, this simply extends a line to a point. So if I have a line, uh, let's see what line we can extend. Let's say I have this line here and I want to extend it to this point. Notice it'll take that line and go all the way down to that point. That's another option you can have. This line, it will simply take a point on any line and it'll generate a point directly perpendicular to there so this is your most common used uh, drawing function your offsets you just select a line you tell it the offset you want it to go and it'll automatically create an offset line um, very very common to use because ladies you, you can go into uh, you can go into line layout and just sit on that line and it'll tell you exactly where you are in relation to that line uh, if you had a, some if you had circles or if you had arcs you could also do an offset from those as well uh, this will create an arc between three points. So if I select three points, pretty simple, but I'll select three points here. It'll create an arc. You can um, edit that arc however you want, but it goes in order of how you select the points. So if I go one, two, three, it'll create an arc that way. If I go one, two, three, it'll create an arc that way. So just remember how you how you order your points, and it'll create the arc for you. Obviously, with the the second one you choose being the middle of it. If I long press this one, I can also create an arc with a radius. I select uh, two points and tell the radius I want, two feet, and it just creates a quick radius there for me. Uh, last one is this, it creates a circle with a radius, or you can create a circle with three points. So one, two, three, creates a circle going uh, evenly through all those points. So, uh, really nice uh, drawing function. You can use that for a lot. It's nice to draw in here, especially if you want to use those as point layout, layout lines, things like that. Um, last is sketch. You can go in here and sketch. Uh, most people do from from plan view. Manual input is where you know the exact X and Y coordinates of where you want to do, but most of the time you do it right from plan view. Um, and on here, <clears throat> you can easily find all of your points. Check that point. 
and uh, you can sell to, tell exactly if you need to move it up or down, left or right, or moving even at an angle. So it's just a uh, it's just a nice a, a nice way to move your points around if you if you need to move them a specific direction or or uh, angle or or uh, or distance. So I'm gonna go back. I'll go into Kogo now. Kogo is pretty simple. Um, this gives you areas of specific uh, points. Okay, so if I select a couple points here. It'll tell me my area of those three. Pretty convenient. This is if I'm doing, uh, if, I, if heights are involved and I uh, have points that have heights on them, it tells me the, the volume of that. Uh, here's a nice uh, way to tell distances of lines. That line is exactly 11 feet. This line is exactly 12 feet. This line is exactly five, five, five and fourth. Um, if I long press this, I can do distance between points instead. I'll just start selecting points, point one, point two. Distance between those is one foot, seven, three, eight. It's very easy to do this. I mean, I can do this all day and just find out all the dimensions of my drawing real quick. And you can jump back and forth between this tab and your layout tabs, you know, just to check on things. Um, this is really convenient. You have a line, and you want to see the angle between the two lines. There you go. That's a, uh, oh, it's close to exactly 90 degrees. It's basically 90 degrees. Um, again, these have to be connecting, I believe. The intersection has to be found. There we go. And then another option is you can find out the angle between two points. So this point and this point to that point is going to be a 46 degree angle. All right. So it's pretty uh, pretty intuitive, pretty, uh, pretty easy to use. Uh, just some nice things to use for your convenience uh, when you are preparing your job to make sure everything lines up properly. A lot of nice options. So that is Data Manager. When you're in Data Manager again, you load your job, load your layout points, load your drawing. If you have a drawing, obviously most people do. Um, tap the job, loads everything up, and you can go and edit thing, everything from right in here.